A Lewis County food pantry was in a code red situation, dangerously close to running out of food in its freezer. 7 News reporter Mark Mason Jr. has more on the challenges of running a pantry and how that community kept the Harrisville one running. Imagine making just enough money that you don't qualify for food stamps, but not enough money to keep food on the table. For those folks, a food pantry is a safety net. Now imagine your local food pantry goes without funding, and the food and safety net are gone. That was alarmingly close to reality for the Harrisville Food Pantry, which serves roughly 40 people in the local community. We were in code red for our freezers because we had no more grant money coming in. Our grant money hadn't come about just yet in the last month or so. Jane Rose says across the nation, food pantries have been designated $20 million of federal money, but that is distributed across every food pantry in the country. With little grant funding, maintaining a food supply is very difficult. The pantry needed a solution. And so, the Harrisville Pantry Posse, the name the organizers and volunteers gave themselves, had an idea. The Posse set out to Chuck's Market and held a fundraiser where a generous community banded together to raise the money. I went, oh my goodness, I can order. I can get a food truck and I can supply my freezers that were almost empty. All of them were empty, except for a little bit in that one freezer. Now the pantry is stocked up and ready to give back to a grateful community. Clients that come in here and at the end, they go, thank you so much, thank you. I didn't have anything in my cupboard. I'm not getting paid until next week. Now I have food. And if that doesn't warm your heart, I don't know what would. Community donations play a huge role in keeping the pantry stocked. You can reach out to the food pantry by visiting our website at wwnytv.com. Mark Mason Jr., 7 News.